Hello, my name is Jonathan. I am your Viz Trainer for this module. So for the camera and lighting exercise, uh, they're both very, very similar and they both have the same idea of using a geometry to track and follow a light source or an object and having that geometry act as a light source. But there are some differences with lighting, which I'm going to go over with uh, step by step. So. The exercise in general is to create an animation that follows a cube and as the light moves across the cube you will see uh, the light change color. So here is the example right here. And as you see we shift to sort of from yellow to blue and it has a nice fall off and the light's tracking as well. If we look over in the geometry very similar to the cameras the light here is attached right there and the tracking is the object right there within it which could also be the cube as well okay but there are some differences the main difference really one of the differences is that if I turn on the wireframe look at the geometry you'll see I've got more than the usual number of tessellations the number on average is one but I've added ten and the reason we do that is because we get much more of a smoother fall off. So look at the object. If I look back, if I look, if I'm at one tessellation here, you will see that there's a bit of a line down the middle there, and the actual gradient fall off is uh, not as not as slick as if I were to increase the number of tessellations to say 10. You can see we've got much more of a nicer fall off of the light going around the um, object. So let's go and now build one of these as an example. Go back here to my exercises and I'll, I'm going to make Okay, I don't need all this stuff here. So first things first, I'm going to start Let's take a look, first of all, let's take a look at geometry and light sources, all right? So here is my plane, my shape, and I'm going to now pull up an, a light source, which will be this as a geometry, and I'll give this some material, just so we can see it, make that purple. And much like before, we went to, instead of going to camera, we go to light, and we start dragging and dropping these elements over. So I'm going to stick with camera light number two, and make this the position tracking of that light. And what is it tracking? It's tracking this geometry right there. And I'm going to activate that as well. I've got a few different levels. I got a spot and a local. A spot and the infinite. I like working with spot in this case. Now the problem is we're not seeing much in the way of light source up here because it's a material and it's affecting the material and the lighting affects the material. So I'm going to give this a material to bounce off of. Okay? So there's this right here and I'm now going to throw on some light. This spot right here, and affect the angle, and then let's beef up the wireframe from one to there. See, look at that. So I had this at one. You could barely see any light coming off that. As soon as I start to increase the tessellation, we get this much greater range of fall off. So I'm going to bring it up to 30, which is a nice number. And let's look at the wireframe of that right there. And we can see now that this light is having a nice effect for that. Now if I go left to right, there we go. And this light here, if I look at the light, we've got the color scheme right here. So I'm just going to give this color scheme uh, an update, make this orange. 
and then it's going to go to a nice lime green. And at the same time, we're going to animate this tracking light from left to right, like that. Now if I look at my stage. We can see that as it moves across, that light source is in fact changing the color of this geometry. Um, we also said that we we're going to make this a cube, so I can very simply just take this geometry and make that a cube like that. And give that a, give that a rotation. And remember the rule: we need tessellation. We need some. There we go. Make that 30 as well. And I think that this this original material. also affecting the light source. And there we have an example of a light moving across a cube and changing its values.